As many of you know and was referenced in that video, um, I was born under the sign of the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. And I have been so incredibly lucky to literally grow up in the business of sports television. With my dad, I was able to travel as a young boy to some of the greatest sporting events in the world, watching the men and women of ABC Sports literally create the art of sports television. Sitting in production meetings and television trucks with people like Rune Arledge and Chet Forty and Dick Ebersol and Chuck Howard and Don Ohlmeyer, Jeffrey Mason and Roger Goodman was an education that couldn't be duplicated anywhere else. I remember so vividly my first payday as if it was yesterday. It was at the Jacksonville Open when I was just 11 years old. And after the show on Sunday night, unit manager Erwin Wiener said, Sean, what are you standing over here for? Get in the pay line. Well, I got in the pay line and I got paid $25. And I knew at that very moment what exactly I wanted to do, which was to make my living in sports television. Later, during my two years at ABC Sports, I again had the opportunity to work for Rune and Chuck and Chet and the others. But after two years, I began to feel that it was better to get out from underneath my father's shadow at ABC Sports. At lunch in a little French restaurant called Le Champignon in 1979, I asked my father for some career advice. He said to me, stand up, go to the back of the restaurant, there's a payphone back there, call Jeffrey Mason at NBC Sports and tell him you want to work for him. Well, I dialed Jeffrey, he picked up himself on the first ring and said, let's meet tomorrow morning at 8.30. When I met with Jeffrey, he took out a legal pad and told me to write down all the things I wanted to do in sports television. So I wrote down, negotiate for sports rights, produce live shows, help program the network, hire new on-air talent and other duties. He went down the list and checked off most of the items and asked me if I could start the following Monday. 